Quran. I love the Quran. I live by the Quran. Would I die for Allah? Yes. Is Allah in my heart? Yes. But the closer I get to the ring, I'm more confident. Once I'm in the ring, I'm a god. No one can beat me. No one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. He had died. We'll see if he's overly cautious. And as expected, by Tyson. As expected, by Tyson. Comes up fast. In a minute, round six. Oh, he feels closing this round like a champion, like the overachieving warrior oh, that he is. Oh, there goes Tyson. That was a body shot. I think it was a little more balanced. Oh, a straight right combination by Holyfield. Holyfield looking to air it out. Holyfield's on road. Now he's taking a shot. He's going for it. Tyson's in trouble! Holyfield smothers Tyson! Looking to put Tyson down and end the fight! Tyson is not in trouble! Yes, from here on in, we are looking at a sports legend in the purple trunks, Evander Holyfield. Holyfield continues to dig in. A left hook to the head. He's got Tyson in trouble. Tyson's ready to go! A straight right hand. The top is off the fight! And Holyfield has... I can't won. believe what I'm saying. It's the most unbelievable thing I've ever been privileged to witness. Mayhem. It is Bedlam. The improbable has happened. Evander Holyfield pulls off the colossal upset. This is going against just about everybody's thoughts and Views going to this fight. I think they pulled about 40 riders across the country. One guy right, picked in. Holyfield. It was Ron Borges of the Boston Globe. Yeah, he's sitting right behind us laughing right now. That's one of the biggest surprises in boxing I ever had. Well, you know, I, I get glory to God. And for everybody to know that, you can't choose against God. You can choose against me anytime. But when God involved, Jesus is alive and, and he the credit for it. And I. And I thank God. And why? I, why did you guarantee it with such assurance? But because you know, the thing, when you, when anytime somebody put God up there, my my God's the only true God, and and anything must bow to God. I'm led by the Spirit of God, and like I told everybody, whatever the Spirit lead me to do, that's what I would do. And it wasn't nothing that so much that I did, and everybody knew that I would wash up. But with God, I'm not washed up. And you know, my whole thing is that you know, you know, I just have to give praise to God. You know, and you know, Tyson. Was, very tough competitor, and I knew that I had to be at my very best, and I need, and I knew that I need the Holy Spirit to win. It has to rank as one of boxing's all-time greatest upsets because the winner and new world champion is Evander Holyfield. He reclaimed the WBA heavyweight championship in Las Vegas last night by turning Iron Mike Tyson into a scrap heap. Dominating throughout the fight, Holyfield scored a technical rock knockout in the 11th round. The referee stopped the fight after Holyfield landed numerous crushing blows with Tyson offering no defense. The new champ was asked about his underdog role. Well, you know, but you know, the whole thing is that it don't bother me because they don't give me a shot. When you when you start ruling out Jesus, you know, it, that's Jesus still man, it's still the same one that when David slayed Goliath, he same same being the same God is still here. You know, once when I say I believe, I believe, and, and um, when the Lord said it was mine, I knew it was mine. I guarantee that I will win, and people kind of laughed at me.